So this mare that we're working on right now, we pulled alpha two on her, alpha two macroglobulin on her last July. So now we're here in June, you know, so we're about 11 months out. It's one of the nice things about that product is we can pull it. We get a pretty decent volume, anywhere from 30, 34, 35 cc's per uh, kit. We can inject whatever we need to inject on that horse, whatever we have left over, keep it in the freezer. So we just pulled some out of the freezer today. Still sterile contained in here. Pull that out of the freezer, defrost it, and now, you know, she's been doing great for the last 10, 11 months. Starting to get sore again. Pull that stuff out of the freezer. Just did an evaluation, determined where she's sore now. Pretty similar to where she was sore last year. So, treat her, get her feeling good again, and keep on moving. Alpha 2M or alpha 2 macroglobulin is a, a protein. It's a macroglobulin protein. So it's actually in our circulation, in the horse's circulation. Um, it's produced in the liver. It's a pretty potent anti-inflammatory protein. It actually has a few different binding sites that grab onto pro-inflammatory enzymes, protein that are responsible for breaking down collagen, soft tissues, etc. So we put that stuff in the problem areas, in this case, in this horse and you decrease inflammation locally and get a really, really good anti-inflammatory effect. So she's pretty sore on this left hind lower limb. She's got a pretty negative plantar angle, meaning she's kind of setting back on her heels quite a bit, just based on how her foot conformation and shoeing is. Um, so that can predispose them to getting sore and cough and joint hocks all the way up to the hamstring, really. SI, lower back, we see a lot of a lot of soreness and pain coming from what we call negative plantar angle. A lot of people think about taking balance x-rays on the front feet pretty frequently, but hind feet often go you know, kind of overlooked. But it can be a really important part of trying to maintain some of these performance horses, especially you know thinking about long-term soundness, long-term performance, kind of periodically taking some balance radiographs on hind feet too, seeing where we're at. Main thing we're going to do here is adjust her shoeing a little bit. We'll probably put a little treatment in that coffin joint as well. Take some of the inflammation out of there. She should respond quite well to that. Alpha 2 macroglobulin going in that coffin joint. Boom. She's gonna love that. Flash a joint fluid there. Flows beautifully. So this is going in this left hind coffin joint and the idea is that we're going to reduce, you can see how much fluid she has in there and she's pretty darn sore on that. See how kind of squishy that is? That's that dorsal joint capsule of the coffin joint. So with that negative plantar angle, one of the things that will happen is they get pretty darn sore. You can see that joint fluid coming out of there. So we're going to put some of this anti-inflammatory in there. And she will say thank you. Maybe not today, but in a couple days she'll say thank you. This is the tarsal metatarsal joint. Ideally, she'll be weight bearing on that. We got a little flash of blood. We'll redirect a little bit. Get some joint fluid. And put it on in that joint. So this is medial approach to the distal intertarsal joint. Slip it right over that little ledge of bone. In that joint, close in there nice and easy. Here we are again, tarsal metatarsal joint on the right hind, lowest hock joint, palpate our landmarks. Stick it right on in there. Slip it all right. This one's a little trickier to get into. There it goes. There she goes. This one's a little tighter too. She might feel the pressure and pull that leg up. She might not. But it's right where she needs it. 
Yeah, so this mare is pretty sore. Uh, we just treated multiple spots with the alpha 2 macroglobulin. Just treated the front coffin joint, treated the left hind coffin joint, and both hocks. Um, so if we'll get a few days of rest, a few days of systemic anti-inflammatories, banamine, um, and then we'll kind of slowly bring her back into work, and she should feel a lot better then than when she came here this morning.